Today, I'm building a team to beat the 2016 Cavaliers, but my team starts out as a 40 overall. Each time my team fails to beat the 2016 Cavs in a seven game series, I will spin from the upgrade wheel. The upgrade wheel has five tiers, and every five spins on the upgrade wheel will unlock a new tier. As the tiers go up, the chances of getting a superstar player increase while the chances of getting a bum decrease. The goal is to build a perfect team to take down the 2016 Cavs and try my best to do it with as little upgrades as possible. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, check out my Twitch. I stream every weekday at 11 a.m. and follow me on Twitter. I tweet a lot about basketball. Let's go. For a while now, I've been looking to find the best deals on NBA, NFL, and MLB game tickets. And I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. Now, since the NBA and NFL season are still far away, I've been recently looking for some tickets for me and my girlfriend to go to a Phillies game. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we are on the SeatGeek app right now. And it looks like the Braves are playing the Phillies tomorrow at Citizen Bank Park. So let's click on that one. So as you can see here, they have all the tickets across the web here just on one place, right on SeatGeek. And you see those little ratings right there, 8.7, 8.7. 8.6, That's showing you how great of a deal it is between 1 and 10. And then if I scroll down to the bottom, they obviously just kind of get worse and worse. But obviously, you want to avoid getting tickets like these, like a 0.3 rated seat. That's kind of crazy. You could also zoom in on the stadium right here just to try to find a specific spot you want to sit at. And obviously, the green deals are good deals, and the red ones you probably want to avoid. Every ticket is also backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets before the event with swaps. And you guys can use code YNG for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Just again, that's $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek with promo code YNG. Make sure to click the link down below to download the app. And again, shout out to CK for sponsoring this video. Now let's go ahead and get back into it. Well, here's the matchup of the 2016 Cavs versus the Warriors. Here's that beautiful Cavs team we all know and love except for Warriors fans. And here's the team we're starting out with a bunch of 40 overalls. Let's see what happens. Well, game one's a great start. LeBron had 43, 35, and 17. Okay, all right, that's, <laughs> that is insane. And obviously the Cavs went on to win the whole thing. We just have no answer for LeBron or really anybody. I don't even know why I said that yet. We, we don't even have an answer for Tristan Thompson. Like that, there you go. Can't see the championship ceremony, that's awesome, 2K, thank you. I'm just gonna assume LeBron won finals MVP. I don't think anyone else has a chance. Unless one of the voters is Skip Bayless, maybe Kyrie's got a shot. And LeBron averaged 42, 30, and 15 in the finals. Here's what our team did in the finals. And here's what the Cavs did with Kyrie dropping 38 a game and Love getting 31 rebounds. Well, I guess we should be looking to get a big man here, but let's see what we get. Start out with a free agent as expected. And again, we obviously need some rebounding, so my first pick here is gonna be Ed Davis. Not gonna give us much offensively here based off his stats, but he's actually one of the best rebounders from the free agents. Let's see if Ed Davis can save our rebounding. I mean, he's not going to help that. Well, at least somebody didn't get 30 rebounds, so it's an improvement. And Ed Davis got 14 of his own, so we made a good adjustment there, picking up Ed Davis. We got to get some defense on this team. 160 points is insane. I apologize for the ceremony being glitched. I hope it's not like this the entire video. I pray it's not, but it's just kind of the reality. I don't know what we're supposed to do about this. And Ed Davis almost led the game in rebounds with 22 boards. So now we got to cook up another player here. Let's see what we got. We're getting a bench warmer. Okay, 71 to 75. We might find a hidden gem. We're going to be picking up mini LeBron himself. Eric Bledsoe. He's not a bad shooter at this point and actually a pretty good defender for a 74 overall, so we'll take it against Kyrie. And trust me, I was looking for a LeBron stopper, but there was just nobody there besides like Danny Green. So yeah, I went with Eric Bledsoe. Let's see what this dynamic duo can do. Well, we only lost by 99 and way to shoot us out of a game. Bledsoe 6 for 19 is insane. This man Kyrie still dropped 42. I, I don't have an answer for this. These, these tween tween hezzies. Again, we're still barely just losing by 100. We're doing better. We gotta get our LeBron stopper now. Stopper in quotations, obviously. Bledsoe, how do you have 6 turnovers? And how do we stop 38, 26, and 18. And LeBron was finals MVP dropping 40, 21, and 15. Sick. Bledsoe actually had a pretty good finals, but he's getting double teamed like crazy. Probably shooting only 36%. And they have two guys dropping 40. So I I, I I don't know. We need a whale. Something Pat Riley knows nothing about. And we get another free agent. Okay, well, we're just not. You know, it is the most likely choice. We got a weird pickup here. We're going to be taking Alfonso McKinney. He's going to help space the floor out for Eric Bledsoe so he's not getting double teamed every 10 seconds. And he can do a little bit of rebounding. Nothing impressive. Maybe not Kevin Love good, but, you know, it'll do something. Let's see how the new big three look. Only lost by 84 this time. And I guess the spacing McKinney offers is letting Bledsoe play a little better. He had a pretty good game. But, uh, yeah, can't stop this. Our defense and rebounding have definitely gotten a lot better. But we still got a lot of work to do, man. Still getting guys who could score the ball. That's probably the most important thing right now. Sorry for you LeBron fans who want to see him hold up a trophy 5 million times. Times. I just, you know, I can't make it happen. LeBron with a casual 37, 17, and 16. And Alfonso McKinney 0 for 5 from 3. What a great investment. And there goes LeBron's final stats. Bledsoe actually played better in this finals than the last one. He, he was way more efficient here. And at least they're both not dropping 40. But now we only have two more spins on the tier 1 wheel. What do we got next? A bench warmer. Okay, I'll take another 75 potentially. We're going to be picking up a 41-year-old Dikembe Mutombo. I know we already have Ed Davis, but we need some defense down low. So now we got Mutombo at the 5, Ed Davis at the 4, McKinney at the 3. It fits pretty well. Let's see if Mutombo could stop LeBron from dropping 40 in the paint. Well, we're still losing by 90, but I guess McKinney likes playing the three more. He dropped 23. And I guess 41-year-old Matumbo couldn't stop LeBron from driving. And I guess Matumbo didn't make that much of a difference. Let's get this post-up going with Matumbo. Oh, okay. I thought he'd make that over Kyrie, but I guess
guess not. Okay, obviously got to make some adjustments here, but we only got one more tier one spin left, so we got to get out of this wheel. And once again, I apologize to LeBron fans. You're not going to see it. Bledsoe with a pretty solid game outside the five turnovers, and we still got that Kyrie problem. LeBron with a solid 40, 17, and 12, and Eric Bledsoe had a down year, down in quotations. And here is our final tier one wheel spin. We got a starter. Okay, 10% chance. I put a lot of thought into this pick, and we're deciding to go with Draymond Green. I know he's lost his jump shot, but he's probably the best person to be able to guard LeBron with his interior and perimeter defense. And Draymond could also run the offense with his elite passing. Let's see if Draymond can be our LeBron stopper. Well, we lost game one by 60, and Eric Bledsoe is killing it. I guess Draymond's doing a good job running the offense, and LeBron only had 28, 18, and 12. Draymond's doing a good job. Well, we still got swept, and it's been a funky first five players chosen off the wheel. I picked a lot of big men because I'm just so worried about guarding LeBron. I know Kyrie's still getting his 40, but LeBron, we gotta stop LeBron. You know what? Let's watch them celebrate here because you're not gonna see it on the actual board, so there you go. There's LeBron. This man, Eric Bledsoe, be spamming threes. Let's see what the tier two wheel has to offer. First spin of super. Okay. We, I need to get somebody in the building who can carry this team. I need someone who's going to put the ball in the basket. Give me Allen Iverson. I am going to move Iverson to the point guard spot because I want to tire Kyrie out on defense. So having him go at Kyrie every single possession, that's going to be a win for us. Let's see if AI saves this team. We only lost game one by 22 points. And that's exactly what I needed from Iverson. 45 points. Just putting it on Kyrie. And look, Kyrie shot one for eight from three, eight for 18. We are tiring Kyrie out while AI goes off. We're definitely starting to hold our own in these games. So now we have a real game plan to build around Allen Iverson. That's gotta be the game plan. We got our guy. All right, Draymond, you gotta do better, bro. This is insane. AI was averaging 33, six and five in the final shooting nearly 50% from the field. Not bad at all. But we're gonna need some more good pieces if we wanna take down the 2016 Cavs. We got a starter. Okay, gotta be smart about this. And now we're gonna get one of the best three and D players in the game, Bruce Bowen. He's got an 89 three ball and can play some lockdown defense. I want to see how Bruce Bowen does guarding LeBron. So we're going to put Bruce Bowen on LeBron and Draymond on Kevin Love. Let's see what happens. Well, we only lost by 30. This man, Iverson, had 10 turnovers. We got to get him a two guard to help him out, bro. Eric Bledsoe is not cutting it. We have literally two of the best defenders in NBA history. And LeBron just still dropping 44 and 10 with seven steals. Oh my God, we actually won a game. Allen Iverson had 51 points. That's what I'm talking about. And we just might win a second game. I Iverson trying to drop. No, no. That's a terrible. I don't blame him, bro. He's the only one on this team who can really score, but like, come on, bro. Kyrie with the ball. Four seconds left. Please. No cheese. No cheese. No cheese. Good defense. Rebound. Grab it. Oh. Oh my God. I got 41 girl Matumbo for that. Matumbo with the screen there. AI driving on Tristan. Spin move going up. He's a jack, bro, and I can't blame him. I really can't. Well, that game was over in AI again. 52 and 10. What a game. We got to get him a second score. That has easily been my best draft pick so far. We got a star. Okay, this has to be his second bucket getter. We got to get a guy. I thought about this for a while, but we're going to go ahead and go with Paul George. He's probably one of the most offensively skilled players of all time, 6'8 or taller, and he's also going to bring us great defense. Our first four here is a perfect game plan to take down this 2016 Cavs team. We got to get rid of Matumbo. Well, they still won game one, but only by 17 points. And Paul George gave us 49 points. I mean, that's a perfect duo, man. Paul George and AI. Well, we didn't get a game with Paul George. We just got to get a few good role players and a good big man. And we should be fine to beat this team. We are right there. We got the asset. Well, when J.R. Smith's going to be their leading scorer, we're not going to win. We got three more spins on the tier two wheel. What do we got next? Though? Okay, a bench. Well, maybe we can get like a good uh, like off the bench score. Maybe we'll see. Kind of a weird pick, but we're going to take Derek Fisher. I mean, he could definitely score the ball. So, you know, we'll take him off the bench. Let's see if Derek Fisher can help out the bench. Well, we saw out took game one we won by 19 with both iverson and paul george <laughs> dropping 50 i didn't expect this from paul george i'm not gonna lie but we'll take it so all we gotta do is outscore Kyrie and lebron how hard is that we're now up two to one in the series we gotta watch the rest of these games man paul george with 40 come on man this is the biggest game of the video and the Cavs blow us out okay well that was tough now on the game five the real biggest game of this video and we're gonna take them down here in game five look at this collective group effort scoring Derek fisher giving us 20 points, bro. That championship pedigree. I can't believe the video actually could end right here. Well, it's not going to end right here. We got a game seven to play. This man, Paul George, dropped 50 again. I don't understand what I was getting here. I thought I was going to get 25 a game from Paul George. And the 2K gods gave us a chance here in game seven. LeBron with the ball using the screen. Matumbo trying to guard LeBron. Good defense. Get the rebound. Okay, we're not. We're still in it. Fisher with the ball. Drive it on Kyrie. Lays it up and in. We got a four-boy game. Kyrie off the screen. No way. Okay, thank God. I don't want that bullet to the heart. I know how you warrior fans feel. Trying to drive. No. Oh, good pass. Kick it out. Trayvon. No. 
Oh my god, Allen Iverson! The Cavs are choking right in front of our eyes! LeBron with the ball, Paul George plays some great defense right now! Off the Kevin Love screen, LeBron driving, spin move up! Draymond, great defense! Oh, that was great defense, Draymond! Paul George, you gotta be clutch, you're getting double teamed to Fisher! That's a bad sell. That's a bad sell. All right, we're right there, though. We are pounding on the doorstep. We are right there. Oh, we can finally watch the celebration. Oh, my God. And there's LeBron finally on showing his first finals MVP. Congrats, LeBron. This team needs a dominant big man. That's what we're missing for sure. We literally can't ask for more from Paul George and AI. We have two tier two spins left. Kind of a tongue twister there. We got to start. Okay, got to get a big man right here. We need a dominant big man. And the center I'm choosing is Yao Ming. So we already got Bruce Bowen and Draymond to defend LeBron. And even if he somehow blows by both of those guys, have fun scoring over 7-6 Yao Ming. This feels like the team, man. Let's see what happens. Well, they beat us in game one. Kyrie dropping 50. Yeah, that's that's still a problem. The Cavs just barely win game two. Look at Yao Ming with 25 and 18, man. He did his job. Got ourselves a win under our belt. We had three different players score over 35. Yeah, that's what it's going to take to win. Yeah, this series might be wrapped. How did we play them closer without Yao Ming and Matumbo in there? Well, we stole a game. A very low scoring game for these team standards, but I guess we'll take it. And I was maybe hoping for a 3-1 comeback, but it's not happening. So we are back to the drawing board. Yao had a great playoffs drop in 20 and 12. I can't blame him, man. So apparently I've been doing math wrong. Now we're on the tier three wheel because we already have 10 players. So I guess we'll see what the tier three wheel has to offer here. We got a starter. Okay, 81 to 85. We got a flashy pick here. We're going to take a young Kobe. Only 19 years old here, but can shoot the ball, can really throw it down, and it'll bring us some great defense off the bench. Let's see how six man Kobe does. Well, we took care of business here in game one. Kobe dropping 22. That's exactly what we needed off the bench. Perfect addition. We're now going to take a 2 0 lead. AI with 37 and 12. Wow. The Cavs bounce back in game three. LeBron with his triple double. And the Warriors take a 3-1 lead. We've seen this story before. We have to close them out right here in game five. And here's our chance right now. Iverson using the Yao screen. AI pass to Yao. Yao in the paint. Lays it up and then we got a one point lead. Gotta find a way to get one stop. Kyrie driving to the basket here. Dimes it to Tristan. Good block from Yao. They're gonna intentionally foul. Get, get, drive up. Oh my God, you better make these free throws. Come on, bro. Don't sell. Do not sell. Why was he? Why did he have the ball? Come on, Draymond. I know you like LeBron and all that, but we'd like to win this game. All right, we got one. Kyrie trying to drive on AI. Yeah, there was. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Six seconds left to win the championship. Iverson driving. Throws it down with three seconds. No timeouts for Cleveland. Three seconds. Kyrie going to have to chuck it. And it's off. And the Golden State Warriors. Take down the Cavs in five. Thank God, because if we would have lost this game, oh my God, I, I know we would have blown a 3-1, bro. It just, 2K loves to do these Cinderella stories. It was going to happen for sure. Well-deserved, AI. Well-deserved. Paul George scored the most in this game, but shout out Kobe. He was the difference in this series. And here's Iverson Finals MVP stats. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what team we should beat next. Goodbye. If you're still watching for some reason, go ahead and click the video right there in the middle of the screen. It's uh, recommended to you by YouTube, meaning that you probably want to watch it because they think you're going to like it. Actually, you will like it. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of lying there, but like, you know, you know, it's like a strong enough recommendation, so you should actually click on it because you'll probably like it. You know, I can't say you will because I feel like that's, that's kind of lying to you. But you get the point. You know, click the middle of the screen, you know, watch that video or subscribe. Do whatever you want. Okay, goodbye.